Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and I've already shown you a look at uh, Dell's 32 inch monitor and now this is the UltraSharp 27 UP2720Q. Couple of really interesting things of this, um, one it is powered over Thunderbolt 3 so that's pretty awesome with pass through which means you could, if this monitor is plugged into power, you could plug this over Thunderbolt 3 into your MacBook Pro or any other Thunderbolt 3 laptop and power your laptop that way. Uh, the other thing is that it covers 100% of Adobe RGB and sRGB color spaces along with 98% DCI-P3 and 80% REC 2020. So make of that what you will. But the really cool thing is over here it has a built-in color meter and all you have to do is get into the color calibration mode which um, so you can see these are all the different color calibrations based on the white point, based on the color spaces, etc. So let's see where the calibration tool is. There we go. And then once you press that, it says start calibration. And when you hit yes, this little thing at the bottom will open up. So first the monitor is going to warm up. That's really critical because all of the LEDs and the panel itself has to warm up to a certain temperature so once that happens this probe comes out and you have the color calibration process that starts Alright, now the calibration is complete and it tells you exactly what sort of uh, target values you were looking at or what it found, what it not found. It also generates a full report which you can read in the PDF file later and these are the preliminary results and yeah, overall that's pretty much how the monitor works and we're back. Now of course this is not a mainstream monitor, it's mostly designed and targeted for content creators and this is not only just for any kind of content creator a monitor of this type is for people who are making money off of you know creating uh, videos or professionally shooting photos etc etc so yeah if you're getting into HDR or if you need a monitor that basically has a built-in color calibrator this is the one to look out for it's priced at roughly $14.99 US uh, should be coming out anytime soon but for more details, you can check out our coverage of CES on digit.in and stay tuned for more videos of our coverage. Thank you guys for watching.